We interrupt our programming to bring you the following special report. The Ryan Report. Whatever opinion they had ain't gonna change nothing I'm doing. What was the story he told? Because I, I was there. It's time for the Ryan Report. It's like Jay-Z, all eyes on us. On the People Station, V103. Oh, hey! We got some beef going on. Oh, yeah. All What's right. going on? Well, the Ryan Report is being brought to you by... McDonald's. Stop by McDonald's and get your Coca-Cola. $20,000 giveaway cup for a chance to win $20,000 and other cool prizes. And don't forget to join Ryan and myself and the entire crew. We'll be at McDonald's, 834 Thornton Road in Lithia Springs this Friday. Tomorrow. Another graduation fiasco. Oh, what's going on now? Stevie J. Mm-hmm. Did not make it to his daughter's graduation. The daughter he has with Mimi. <gasps> the daughter, Eva. Yes. The graduation from pre-K. What happened? Mimi posted something on Instagram. Oh my God. Stevie said he had no idea she was even graduating because, again. They don't have to communicate. Mimi never told him. Right. He says he never even knew his baby was graduating. It's a picture up. Other baby with the little cap and gown. It's just so sweet. Now, I don't know. That may be worse than the high school one. Wow. Pre-K so, is pretty big pre-K for a parent. Pre- I agree. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. First, that's your first cap and gown. That's what I'm saying. That's your first cap and gown. Oh, God. So so he said he didn't know, but what is she saying? She's, she, he said she, he should have known. He should have known. You gotta have but if you're not communicating, right? How are these men gonna know if you don't tell them? Right. Now I don't understand. I don't know if he he's able to just pop up at the daycare and see the baby whenever he wants to. Then yes, I would say yes. But if you know there's some type of legal issues going on where he can't just pop up at the daycare, there's no way of knowing. That is true. But there's also, as we go to our next round report story, no way of knowing what you got going on except for Instagram. Right. Now, we all know the dust-up between T.I. and Floyd Mayweather. Yes. Uh, our good buddy, comedian K-Dove. Yep. What up, K-Dove? Well, you can't he hear can't him. He can't hear us because he's on a trip now. in Brazil. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. he's not alone. Mm. This Instagram clip will lead to a Wanda Walters theory. <laughs> Here it is. Red wine. Vuka. It's party time. We're in Brazil and we're feeling fine. Ooh. We got T.I. <laughs> Man. <laughs> wow. So they're in Brazil. That's comedian K Dub. And there's this guy. Go to go to um Instagram and you can follow. I'm sure we got it. I'm we sure have we got it. Okay. okay. Well, there's a, there's a video where T I pops in on the video where there's K Dub and, and a Brazilian in. girl. Yeah. You know, she has a bottle of champagne and a glass and yeah, we're turning up in Brazil. Now, here's what I thought as soon as I saw it. Okay. He had to up Tiny. To one-up her. Had to one-up her because, come on, they, after Floyd Mayweather, there's Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so, going to Brazil, every girl looked like Halle Berry. So, like, well, all right, you're going to do that to me. I'm just going to go to Brazil where all the girls are pretty. Wow. That's what I was thinking. It was just... We got, I don't know. Speaking of foreign countries, K. Michelle mm-hmm. tweeting with Iggy Azalea. The love and hip hop star got into yet another war of words in cyberspace. This is off Bossip uh, saying to Iggy Azalea, How can you be from another country and rap like you from Memphis, Tennessee? Oh, no way. But you don't hear me though. Hashtag offended. Take back the music. Mm mm mm. Perez Hilton comes back and says, I think you choose the wrong hashtag and Mm-mm. meant to say jealous. Stay in your place, Cinderella. Okay. There's too much going on. <laughs> There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on in the entertainment world. Uh-oh. Let's end it with Mama Joyce, though. Uh-oh. Uh, they got some unseen clips of Candy and Todd's wedding. Mama Joyce in a clip from Bravo's The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Candy's Wedding Special reveals... That Mama Joyce talked about Todd saying, quote, Todd was raised by a pimp and a prostitute. Oh, my God. What? (laughs) Yeah. And when Candy finally gave him the prenup, Todd (laughs) says, 
with what appears to be a lawyer advising him not to sign. I don't want your blanking money. <gasps> it all unfolds with the Real Housewives of Atlanta Candy's Wedding Special this Sunday, June 1st. Okay. So he did not sign the prenup? I, I, I'm sure he signed it because they married now. Yeah, he's got to sign Mama it. Mama Joyce with the pimp and the prostitute. Okay, Boy, she yeah. go with this. 721. We're going to leave you as we go on to our next song here with Jocelyn. <laughs> and I've been getting money. The video of Jocelyn in a bathtub rapping and getting money. She's a princess. That sound like a Trina throwback from back <laughs> in the eighties. Like throw up! I know. Uh, That's your ride report. V103. And if you don't know, now you know. You know. You know. You know. The Ryan Report. The Ryan Report. V103.